Some Americans stuck in Peru could be facing months in quarantine. New video shows authorities surrounding tourists in Cusco, who've already spent two weeks under quarantine there. ABC Action News reporter Michael Paluska with the desperate pleas to bring them home. American Daniel Voss captured this video Sunday morning. You guys get a picture no. of the gun? Police forcing his brother back inside. The situation in Peru getting worse each day as the Peruvian government extended quarantines for tourists in the Parawana hostel in Cusco. That happening after two people there tested positive for coronavirus. There's police outside. Americans tried to get out. They were held with a gun. It's just, it's just not a good situation here right now. We talked to Tampa native Zachary Mextroth via FaceTime. He says he met Vaz and other Americans at the hostel where they all were held together until last night. Last night, military stormed our hostel and got 60 people out, started spraying people with chlorine and bleach um, to move them to another uh, hotel. <laughs> The State Department's evacuated more than 3,000 Americans from Peru. Flights leave Cusco daily. Mextroth was cleared by the U.S. Embassy to board a flight home, but he is trapped in the hostel. The police have been given the ability to shoot us if they feel warranted, so we're just not playing with that. Que la policía, eh, tienen, tienen armas. We asked the manager there about police pulling guns on tourists. He told us over the phone, so far, police have not been forced to shoot, but the orders are to not let anyone out. We're under a different quarantine, and ours is going to be anywhere from 28 days to three months with no end in sight. Um, that's the whole reason why we feel so unsafe is just because the rules keep changing. They're keeping us in this hostel with 100 plus people, people who, two people have tested positive. Mextroth now has daily calls with the embassy, but right now there is no extraction plan in place. The U.S. is willing to take us back. And she said that they're not going to stop until they get us home. In Tampa, Michael Paluska, ABC Action News.